Hello friends, welcome to my Intask review. Intask is a fully featured work management app with resource, risk and financial management. This end-to-end -end project management app has covered you with task, project, resources, issues, risk, collaboration, meetings and time management. Now I am inside the simple dashboard of end task and here I will provide you one small demo of the product but before going into the demo I like to mention that my link is given in the video description below and that is AppSumo lifetime deal. One AppSumo lifetime deal is going on and price is $59 only, 9 positive reviews are there and this is based for product managers, project managers and remote teams and you can integrate with Google Calendar, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Outlook Calendar and Zoom and alternative to Asana, ClickUp and Monday.com and if you come below you can know more about the features and benefits of the product. So these are the deal terms and conditions and these are the feature details and also they provide 60 days money back guarantee. If you don't like the product for any reason, you can return it back and they will refund your money within 60 days of your purchase. Some license tiers are there up to 5 cores are there. Plan 1, Plan 2 and Plan 3 $59, $118 and $177. So check all the features and go as per your requirement. Now again come back to the dashboard and here I will provide you one demo of the product so i am inside the dashboard and here you can see the workspace so this is my workspace and from here you can create one new workspace so while creating the account i have already created one workspace here called review and if you want you can create more workspaces here so click on this plus button here and from here you can create your workspace and you can put your url workspace url here it's like new so create workspace so the new workspace is now created here and this is the team i have created previously so inside the team you can create one new workspace so if you want to create a new team you can create from here so create a team so from here you can create a new team new team And create new team and inside your new team you can create multiple workspaces here you can create multiple workspaces so while creating the account i created one team that is called hqr high quality review and inside the team i have created two workspaces here and some important settings are also there inside the team so team settings are there so like general information, so these are the general information, you can upload one logo here, user management and here you can invite team members to this team and billing, payment method, data center, export data, work schedules, configuration, app sumo, so these are the important settings are there inside the team and inside the workspaces also there are some important settings. So click on workspace setting for this particular workspace. So you will get some general information, you can upload your photo here, user management, roles, premises, configuration, work schedule, automation, task schedule, so here you can add new tasks. So these are some important settings, so come inside the workspace dashboard here and here come inside the review workspace. So click on review workspace here and here we can create the task. So add new task from here and also you can add new task from this plus icon. Both the same. So click on this plus icon here and here we can add the task like software coding. And assign to optional. Here you can assign the task to your team member. So here I'm the only person here. Here I need to invite my team members. So I can see all my team members here. So right now I'm just selecting myself here. And project and here you can create the project. From where you can create project. So here it is projects. From here I can create new projects. So I have previously created one project. So I'll pick that project. So I'll show you how exactly you can create a new project later on. So create your task. So this is the way you can create a new task. So the task is not started yet. So click on this software coding task and here system fields are there like project, plan end date, actual end date, description, progress, to-do list, 
planned start date actual start date duration so here you can select the project also so i have created only one project here so coding is my project so i'll select that project so planned start date so maybe today is the start date here and also actual start date maybe 18th is actual start date and planned end date maybe 31st of this month is planned end date and actual end date is next month 10th of next month is the actual end date so description so here you can write something about the project requirements so this is the project description and to do list you can add some to do list here like coding so you can assign to your team member and also you can add more to do list so like design and assign to your team member you can add more so like website copy so these are the to do list so here you can add the end date also so you can add your end date here so maybe end date is 20 or 21st is the end date for this particular task so this is the way you can create your to do list and here you can send messages to your team members maybe when we can start we can finalize the website design so enter and all your team members can see this message now and there are various options like convert to task you can convert this message into one task so if you click here it will be converted into one task and now reply later and also you can edit it and also you can delete it so from here anybody can reply on the task so when you can finalize the website so somebody can reply from your team member like by tomorrow So enter so this is the way you can communicate with your team member and now come to the document section and here you can upload a file add a new file and also you can create a new folder and inside the folder you can upload your file also so create a new folder maybe design so this is the folder created and click on this folder and inside the folder you can upload a file so browse file and i will upload one file here maybe this is a file open the file upload one file the file is now uploaded inside the folder so this is the way you can share the document with your team member come to meetings and here you can schedule a meeting so click on this plus icon and here you can create a meeting project meeting project meet so you can put the date here and time here and also duration of the meeting maybe one hour and 30 minute the meeting time and also location you can select also you can give the agenda and create meeting so this is the way you can create the meeting here and also some issue if you found some issue here you can also create the issue so click on this plus icon here so issue software bugs found and some assigned to this is optional but you can assign to your team member and create issue so this is the way you can create the issue and come to risk section and you can write some risk here start the work the work So after confirmation only we will start the work so this is a risk select the risk and you can assign this 
to anyone so click here in review and from here you can change the status maybe agree and close so this is the way we can create the comments and we can send documents we can create meetings issues and risk now comes the project section and here we can create new projects so previously i have created one project here so add new and project click on project here so project is design website and project description but that is optional I just copy and paste the same thing here and create project and here you will find out more things so click on this and here you will find out the resources so you can add fields here so maybe i want a checklist so click on checklist and design so and create field so the design checklist is now created here add a new field here maybe i want the email address so click on email address and email and create field and create field email is previously there so this is the reason it was not taking so add a new field from here we can add phone number here phone and create field so that's it so now come to resource section and here you can add resources from here task we can add more task inside this project so there is no task inside the project so if i click on this here you will find out the task because i have created one task inside the previous project so if you want to create a task inside the project you can directly create from here so there is no task now milestone financial summary and also what calendar is there so this is the way you can create your project so this is easy now come to boards and here you can create a board so click new board here and abc i just put any name here some description here you need to put and you can select a color here and create the board so this is easy to create a new board and also task so i have shown this how to create a task and also meeting section so i have already shown this how to create a meeting so few more things are there timesheet issue and this so i have shown this previously so this is the way inside the end task you can create your team inside the team you can create the workspaces like this way i have created two workspaces here and inside the workspace you can create your task so i have created few tasks here you can see i have created few tasks here and inside the task you can manage a lot manage these things project start date end date you can communicate with your team member you can upload document you can create meeting you can create issues and risk so this is an excellent project management tool definitely you can go with this tool one link is given in the video description below for your ready reference and that is the app sumo lifetime deal one app sumo lifetime deal is going on definitely you can grab the lifetime deal and if you want 10 percent extra discount you can go through my link so that's all about in task review and a small demo if you like this video hit the like button and also subscribe my youtube channel and also don't forget to hit the bell notification because whenever i publish a new video you'll be get notified instantly so thank you for today bye bye